to Lausanne, you seen that? Um, actually, you took part to the Prix de Lausanne in 1989, but you never came to Lausanne, it's the first time? It's my first time actually in Lausanne. Um, when I participated in 89, we had half of the competition in Tokyo and half was in Lausanne, and then everybody met in Tokyo for the finals. And uh, how do you remember this, uh, this competition in Tokyo? Um, it was life-changing for me, to be honest. I had no idea that I could or would be a ballerina and to, to be awarded one of the scholarships really did change my career path. Good, so um, we have a surprise for you. We have images uh, from our archives of you at the time. Would you like to watch? Sure. <laughs> Goodness. Um, I remember before going on just being so nervous and I had been rehearsing in the wings beforehand during the last fuetes and I couldn't do the double and I was getting myself so upset and so um, stressed out about it so we just ended up changing the ending because I think it, you just get so emotional and wanting everything to be so perfect um, and I remember being really difficult when you finish the variation and there's no applause you just kind of just want to sink into the floor um, my shoes could have been softer <laughs> like I was wearing bricks but actually I thought I did quite a nice job for I was only just 15 so um, I hadn't done anything as big as this before and I was really surprised to be the only Australian finalist so I hadn't had any expectations and I think the competition today just has so much coverage and it's so, so prestigious even now but more so with what's um, available out there to watch and what's expected now of today's dancers. Is it the first time you see these images? Um, no, I have seen them somewhere before. I think they were actually on, t on TV at the time in Tokyo. I think the audience were able to watch it live as well. Um, I ha but I haven't watched it for a couple of decades, I must say. <laughs> and would you like to watch your free variation now? Yeah, the dragonfly, yes. <laughs>
It's good, I'm happy. <laughs> I look like I was enjoying myself too, so that's the whole point of a competition, is not to be so perfect and to, to just to have so much pressure. I, I, I feel like I gave something as well as um, trying to be technically perfect, but it looked like I was kind of getting something out of it. And if you could go back in time, uh, how would you coach yourself? Or? What's that saying, if only I knew then what I know now? You know, that all those um, intricacies that you have as a dancer and what you learn along the way, um, you know, whether it's technically, emotionally or artistically, um, there's obviously a lot that I could change by the time I was just 15. But um, in hindsight and retrospect, um, you can only do your best at the time. Thank you.